Dear viewers, welcome to my channel. And thank you very much all of you who are watching this video. And uh, I hope you um, watch all of my video, my previous video. Today, um, in this video, I'm going to discuss with you about time and our top, uh, topics is past and to both. So in previous video, I discussed with you um, about O clock, and let me give you a recap. And we learn uh, that the minute hand is always on pointing 12 for O clock. And we learn quarter pass, and we learn for quarter pass minute hand pointing three, like this. And we learn half past and the minute hand pointing six like this. And we also learn quarter two for time and minute hand pointing at nine. So this um, four sort of time we already learn four o'clock, quarter past, half past, and quarter two. Now, um, the question could rise in your mind that if the minute hand is pointing like this on, then what is the time? Or the question could rise in your mind, if minute hand is pointing on seven, then what is the time? So that sort of thing today we are going to discuss. Because in the clock, you can see 12 number. One, I mean, this one is 12. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So if minute hand is, because the minute hand is, um, if you want to learn the clock time, the first thing you need to uh, focus on minute hand. Where is, I mean, the minute, where the minute hand pointing? Which number minute hand is pointing? So if you know the minute hand um, where it is, then easily you can give the answer, I mean, the clock time. So that's why it is very, very important for you to learn uh, which number minute hand is pointing. So let's go um, to the next page, then we can see what you can help to learn the clock time. So this picture is very, very important for you. So please, um, if, it's, if it is possible, uh, draw yourself at home with a pen and paper or pencil. And first you can draw uh, the circle clock and then you can look at there. Um, the picture mean is, let me get my pen, then I'm going to explain to you what does it mean in this picture. Like, for example, my minute hand is pointing 12. So let me change the color. So my minute hand is pointing 12. And you know the minute hand means is the time is uh, four o'clock. And that's why I wrote in a box, four o'clock. So if minute hand is on 12, is four o'clock. Now, if minute hand is on one, I mean pointing one, then the time is five minute past. If minute hand is pointing at two, that means is time is 10 minutes past. The reason is when the minute hand start its journey from 12 from here and till one o'clock between these two number, the minute hand moving five times, like one, two, three, Oh, and finally, this is five. So that's why it is 
the time is five minutes past. When the minute hand is pointing to, it moving 10 times, like start from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this one is 10. So that's why if minute hand pointing at two, the time is 10 minutes past. If minute hand is pointing three, what we already learned in my previous video, then we said this time is quarter past because until here, the minute hand moving 15 times. And this part, if you look at this part, it, it is a quarter part of the whole circle. And in this clock, has 60 minutes. We already learned if minute hand is do one full um, round and it is a full hour. And in, in full hour, there are 60 minutes and quarter of 60 minutes is 15 minutes. So this time you can say 15 past or quarter past. I'm gonna write in the next, that'll be easy for you to learn. So 15 minutes past. M means minute and past. But it's better to say quarter past. But if you say 15 minutes past is also correct. But most of the time, um, in teacher or anywhere, they will say quarter pass. Because the quarter, I mean, 15 is the quarter of 60 minutes. Because the in whole circle is 60 minutes. And we are talking about quarter part. I mean, this part, that's why it's quarter pass. Now, when the minute hand is pointing, uh, let me change my clock. I mean, sorry, the, uh, the pen. So if the minute hand is pointi pointing at four, that means it's 20 minutes past. If minute hand is pointing five, the time is 25 minutes past. And if the minute hand is pointing six, we already learned from our previous video, it is half past because from here till here is 15 minutes, and from here till here is another 15 minutes. So 15 plus 15 is 30 minutes. And 30 is the whole um, clock's uh, minute is 60 minutes. So 30 is half of 60. So that's how we say this is half pass. So please, it's very, very important. Try to remember the minute hand start from here. And when it is arrived at one, is five minutes, so five minutes past. When it is arrived on two, I mean, again, another five, that means it's 10 minutes past. When the minute hand is arrived at um, three, it's pointing three, then it's quarter past or 15 minutes past. When the minute hand is arrived at uh, four, it is 20 minutes past. You can see in the box. And when minute hand is pointing at five, it is 25 minutes past. And when minute hand is pointing at six, it is 30 minutes past or half past. So use, you can see this side, I mean, the right side, half circle with the green part, with the green colored I did. Anywhere the minute hand pointing, the time is past. And if it is here, five pass, 10 pass, 15 pass, quarter, quarter pass, 20 pass, 25 pass, and half past. Now, <clears throat> let me rub all of this. It'll be easy for you. The minute hand is going to uh, pointing the left side. And you know this, when the minute hand is cr um, cross six, 
and anywhere minute hand pointing, the time would be two. It's maybe quarter two or five two or ten two. So now we're going to learn uh, two. So let's go to draw the um, the minute hand again. If it is pointing at seven and the time is 25 minutes and I'm gonna show you how. So you can start from here and count five fives like this. Five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Because the minute hand is pointing at seven and this time left for next hour. And we count like this, how many minutes left for next hour? So let me give an example. I'm gonna rub all of this. Because uh, for two is, uh, two time is very, very important. It's a bit different than past. For past is easy to say, like if his minute hand is, uh, uh, pointing one, then you can say easily five minutes past and like uh, one o'clock, one uh, five past one, two past one, or ten past one. But when it, minute hand is left side, it is two and is counting the next hour. So let me give the example. So minute hand is pointing at seven, and our hand is pointing like just a little bit before. four and five. So what is the time? Look at the clock. Then you have to count like this. It's very easy, try to remember this technique. Always, if you see the minute hand is on the left side, always count like this. So start from here, five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And the hour hand destination is five. So the time would be 25 minutes to five. And you can circle this one. Because the hour hand, when the minute hand will be um, rich at 12, and the hour hand will reach at five. So because the five, uh, the, the hour hand destiny, destination is five. So that's why the time is 25 minutes to five. The same way, if we look on another time. Like uh, for example, minute hand is pointing on eight. And our hand is pointing, for example, here. That means the hour hand destination is one. And minute hand pointing eight. And you remember that what I said before, if you see the minute hand is on the left hand side, then you have to start counting like this. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And look at here in the box, I wrote twenty minutes to. So that means time is twenty minutes to one o'clock because the our hand's destination is one o'clock. So please, very, very important, try to remember. So it's the same way. Any uh, where the hour hand, you don't need to look at the first, you need to look at the minute hand, where the minute hand pointing. The same way if the, you already learned that if minute hand is pointing on nine o'clock, I mean not nine, and then you can start time counting like this, five, 10, 15. That means this time is quarter two any hour, like for example, if the hour hand is here, before six, that means it's quarter to six. The same way, 
if the minute hand is pointing 10 and our hand is here, and drop this one. And you can start counting like this, five and 10. So the time is 10 minutes to six o'clock. So like this, if the minute hand is pointing here, 11, so that means it's five minutes too. So in the simple way, if, you, if I um, tell you in a simple way, if minute hand is pointing on the right hand side, the time is passed. If the minute hand is point um, left hand side, like in, in between gray color, then this time is two of, of hour. And then you have to um, focus what, which number minute hand is pointing. If the minute hand is pointing here, that means it's five minutes past. If it's here, 10 minutes past. Here, quarter past or 15 past, and so on. And the same way, after half past, if minute hand is pointing seven, you have to start counting like this, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 minutes to hour. So let's go to um, see next uh, page and we will try uh, to do some activity practice and it will be easy for us to learn the, um, the clock time. Uh, look at the clock, the first clock. I, um, said you need to focus the minute hand first. So um, in the first clock, we can see the minute hand is pointing at four. The minute hand is pointing at four. This one is the minute hand. And let me make this time box. So, and it is on the right hand side. That means if we draw like this, I mean, if I split the clock in two equal parts, right hand side and left hand side, so this side is past and right, left side is two. So minute hand is here. So we have to count from here, five, 10, 15, and 20. That means, this time is 20 minutes here and it is past. So 20 minutes past. And now you can look at our time. I mean, our hand. Where is our hand? It is after six. So the time is simple way. The time is 20 minutes past six. Twenty five twenty minutes past six. And I think now is your turn. Please pause the uh, video and uh, try to do this one. And then you can check your answer with me. Very simple. You need to uh, focus on minute hand first, where it is. You can see it is um, pointing six that means it is half past because it's half half past or you can say 30 past but it's standard answer is half past and then you need to look at our hand half past And the hour hand is between 11 and 12. You remember for half past, the hour hand should be pointing between, I mean, in the middle of 11 and 12. And it is because it's after, so it's half past 11. Half past 11. Let's go to the next 
um, activity. Here it's very easy. Please pause the video first and then um, try to do yourself and then you can ch uh, check your answer with me. <clears throat> the same, we need to look at minute hand first. It is on two, so that means is five and 10. So that means 10 minutes past. And where is the hour hand? It's just after 11. That means the time is, it is here. That means the time is 10 past 11. So 10 past 11. It's very easy. I hope you also give the same answer. The next one, again, pause the video, please, and um, try yourself fast, and then you can check your answer. Um, in this picture, we can see um, the minute hand is pointing at five, and we need to start counting from here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That means the time is, and it is obviously it is on the right hand side. So 25 minute past. I'm just writing the minute in short way with M. 25 minutes past. Now we need to look where is the hour hand. Then you can see the hour time. 25 minutes past. It is after nine, so it is nine o'clock. So time is 25 minutes past nine. I hope you got the same answer as well. Let's go to uh, more activity. Um, this picture we can see the hour uh, minute hand is on the left hand side. So obviously this time is two, not past. Look at here. Our hand is on left hand side. So you know the technique what I said before. You have to start from here and five and 10. That means 10 minutes, two. 10 minutes, two. Two. And the hour hand, when the minute hand is on the left hand side, then you need to look um, the hour hand destination. We can see the hour hand's destination is two. So the time should be 10 minutes to two. I hope you enjoyed this timing. The same way, let's go to the next block. The hour hand is, our hand is on the left hand side. So here, the time should be two, not past. And you need to start counting from here. Five, 10, 15, 20. That means it's 20 minutes, two. 20 minutes, two. And our hand destination is 12. You can see the next hour is 12. So 20 minutes to 12. This is the exact answer for this two clock. I hope um, you understand how you're gonna uh, give the answer for this, this activity. Now let's go to see the next one. And this time is um, the same what I did before in my previous video. I will just give you a clock face picture without hand. And our job is uh, to, find, uh, to draw the clock hands and correct way according to the time, the time you can see in the bottom of the clock. 
So the first puppet, first clock, we can see the time is five minutes to nine. Five minutes to nine. So the minute hand should be on the left hand side, not right side, because this time is two. And five minutes. So uh, you can see in the clock, so this, this distance is five minutes. Five. So obviously the minute hand pointing on 11. And, the, and it is um, our hand destination is nine. That means here. But you know, allowed to draw the hour hand on nine exactly, just before nine, because five minutes left for this hour. So just one um, step left is here. So you can draw like a little bit down. Our hand will be here. So this is the hand um, should be like this for this time, like five minutes to nine. It's a bit technical um, for time two. And past is easy, but uh, you have to be very, very careful when you give the time for two. When it, the minute hand is on the left hand side, you have to be very careful, especially for our time. Now this one, um, it is 10 minutes past three. So it's easy. Um, you have to start from here. So five, 10. The clock hand must point at two o'clock because it's five and 10 here. Like this. And our hand, because it's fast, uh, sorry, it is uh, past. So our hand is after three, so 10 minutes. So it's here. So this is the correct answer. And minute hand should be on the right hand side because this is the time is past. And this one, two, you can see the time is two. So obviously the hour hand should be on the left hand side. And what the time we can see, 25 minutes. So we didn't know why is 25 minutes. So I, I told you before, uh, you need to count from the number, but you can do also start from here as well. Just uh, go the anti-clockwise this way. Clockwise is that, was that way and anti-clockwise is this way. This is anti-clockwise. <clears throat> so you start from here and you have to find out 25 minutes. So five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 here. So the minute hand should be pointing at seven. At seven. Yeah, and our hand just before six because it's a, our hand destination is six o'clock, so just here. This is the time um, the clock picture, picture should be uh, like this for this time, 25 minutes to six. Let's go to uh, next page, you can see maybe some other activity. Here, um, the time is quarter to, it's very easy. You know the quarter uh, means um, either here or here, but it says it's two. Let me get the pen. First, you need to underline this word, what, what they said, past or two. So we can see two, that means the up minute hand should be left, left hand side. And what they said, quarter. That means, you know, this quarter means it must be pointing on nine. And our hand just before 12 o'clock, because the our hand destination is, so this is the correct answer. And please um, first pause the video and then try yourself, and then you can check your answer with me. The next one is five minutes to five. Obviously it's 
let's say two, that means you are uh, minute hand should be on the left hand side and uh, <clears throat> five minutes. So you can, because it, they didn't draw the hand. So you have to start from, and uh, for anti-clockwise. So you, you can count like this five. So the minute hand sh should point 11. And our hand just before five, yeah. On the five, this one. And you know, is you gonna use your ruler to draw the line? So it will be straight away, not like me. So this the our hand should be. Right, so this the time is uh, five minutes to five. And this one, same. You can see this. Um, they said two. That means many time should be on the left hand side and 25 minutes. So you can count from here, five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 here. The minute, um, the minute hand is pointing at seven. Like this. And the hour hand should be just before 11 o'clock. Yeah. This should be here yeah. before eleven o'clock. This is the correct answer for this time. I hope um, you learn all time, all, all all the clock time. Even if they give you hands on the clock face, or even they say to draw the line, or draw the hands for particular time. So now it's easy for you. Only one thing you need to do, you need to practice um, past and two. Don't mix up these two things. When you can see the past, it should be minute and is always on the right hand side and you know how to count. And when it is two, it should be left hand side. So please practice uh, more and more. And it will be, and this be, I hope this video will be helpful for you uh, to practice clock time. And thank you very much for watch uh, my video. And um, you can, before I go, I want to highlight one thing. You need to uh, draw this picture and you can hang on your um, study table. This one is very helpful full picture for you to learn clock time. And um, you can um, try to make a clock by yourself and then you can practice with your partner like you can make your partner with your parent uh, any parent your mom or dad and if you play the game then it will be very easy for you to learn clock time but uh, please try to draw this one or you can do print and you can hang on your table and it will be very helpful for you so thank you very much and i'll come back to you with the more timing and thank you see you soon bye